Hey everyone, so today we are filming a video on the top six illnesses and ailments that plague hedgehogs. Uh, these are just the top six that I think are the most common, the most common I've seen. There are a ton of other illnesses, unfortunately, and ailments that hedgehogs can get. Um, and I want to do just a little bit of a disclaimer. Like I said, there are a ton of other things that hedgehogs can get. Um, and one of them is wobbly hedgehog syndrome. I know that most of you have probably heard of that and will be curious as to why I'm not putting that in the video. And the number one reason is because it's not common. Um, and so it's not coming in this video. Uh, I have done an entire video dedicated to the topic that I will put in the cards and in the description below as long as I remember to do both. It's just not a common illness. I know people think it is common. It's not and uh, therefore it's not going to be in this video. You have a death wish. You have a death wish. He's trying to get in my hair, which I threw over my shoulder so that he couldn't get into it. Also, yes, I am aware that I have already filmed a video in this setup, in these clothes and makeup with this hedgehog. I just filmed it. I'm filming another video because I have time and I want to pre-film a little bit. I could not be bothered to change. So, <laughs> look, see, now you have hair on you. The way that I sorted these, all but one of them requires vet treatment, and that one could require vet treatment. So I sorted these by more serious illnesses and ailments that are common, rather than some of the less serious ones like dry skin, which I will hopefully be doing a video on separately. So uh, without further ado, let's start with the illnesses. Generally speaking, whenever your hedgehog is sick, there are some symptoms that kind of pertain to all illnesses that you should look out for. One of which is weight loss, another is lethargy or wobbliness, and the third, which sort of goes with weight loss, is lack of appetite and thirst. Now, these three symptoms pretty much coincide with any illness that your hedgehog can get and weight loss is one of the number one things you'll notice when your hedgehog gets sick uh, before you see any other symptoms typically which is why it's important to weigh your hedgehog regularly so those three symptoms are of course symptoms of the three illnesses I'm going to be listing next but some of those illnesses do have specific symptoms specifically to them so the first common illness that you can find in hedgehogs is a URI, which stands for upper respiratory infection. This is similar to a cold in humans, um, but it can unfortunately become pneumonia and things like that if it goes untreated. So this is an illness that requires vet attention. Some of the symptoms that you need to look out for uh, when it comes to this illness are labored breathing or uh, sort of a stuffy nose. Their breathing will sound almost clogged like when you have a stuffed nose. Another symptom is a drippy nose. Um, you will most commonly see this by uh, them licking their noses excessively. They naturally lick their noses sometimes, but it will become a quite excessive habit. Their noses should be damp, but should never be dripping. And then the most noticeable symptom, of course, is sneezing. Hedgehogs uh, with a URI will also will often sneeze very frequently and uh, without cause. The next common illness I want to go over is a UTI, which is a urinary tract infection, which is very similar to a human urinary tract infection. Some of the symptoms of a UTI include bloody urine, so blood in the urine. You'll see this a lot uh, if you have light liners. They actually recommend if you use fleece liners to use light colors, same with bedding. Uh, this means that you'll be able to see things like that easier. You might also see blood in their urine on their wheel um, when you're cleaning it, if you find blood there. It could be in their urine or in their poop, both of which require a vet trip. And labored urinating, so if your hedgehog seems to be struggling when they pee, that can also be a sign that there is a UTI going on. And then the last unfortunate most common illness for hedgehogs is cancer. Now there are a number of different 
symptoms that hedgehogs can have when it comes to cancer because there are different types of cancer. The most common, of course, is if they have a lump or a bump. Um, those often need to be checked out by a vet because uh, especially the older guys can be prone to cancer, unfortunately. So let's talk about the most common ailments, which tend to be slightly less serious, although one of them is very serious, and that one is an ocular prolapse. Um, I get questions about this a lot uh, because people talk about how their eyes can just fall out. Um, an ocular prolapse is when the eye prolapses. It comes out of the socket. They have very shallow eye sockets. Their eyes kind of bug out a little bit. And unfortunately, if they bump into something or sometimes they even cause it themselves by scratching, uh, they can knock their eyes out. Uh, the eyes don't just topple out. They are still attached, but unfortunately be they can become very swollen, uh, ruptured, bloody. It's not a pretty sight. A, a vet usually has to remove the eye. This is one of the reasons why a vet fund is incredibly important for hedgehogs. Fortunately, hedgehogs have very poor eyesight to begin with, so hedgehogs that lose their eyes or go blind, they're fine. They adjust very well, and it's never usually a concern once they have healed from their surgery. The next common ailment that hedgehogs have to deal with is hibernation attempts. Uh, I wasn't originally going to include this, but I figured it is one of the most common things that hedgehog owners will have to deal with. Fortunately, this is something that you will most likely not have to consult a vet with. You only have to consult a vet during a hibernation attempt when it is very serious. I'm not going to go over the symptoms or anything like that or the treatment because I did film an entire video about that which I will link in the cards and down below because it will be going up before this one. And then the last most common uh, issue or ailment that hedgehogs have to deal with and that you will have to deal with is mites. And unfortunately mites are a pain in the butt but very common, particularly for people who use particulate bedding, which is like paper bedding, wood bedding especially. Uh, unfortunately, the mites can live in the bedding and then when you give it that bedding to your hedgehog, they can jump from the bedding onto your hedgehog and unfortunately can be quite an irritant. Some of the ways that you can tell if your hedgehog has um, mites is excessive dry skin. Uh, they will get quill loss as well, especially uh, quill loss in patches um, and not a lot of quill regrowth or very slow quill regrowth because the mites are attacking the surface of the skin. They will also be incredibly itchy. Uh, you'll see them scratching themselves very frequently when they have mites. The only way to treat mites is to take them to the vet and get either revolution uh, for kittens or uh, ivermectin. And with ivermectin, you can only treat topically. You do need to get the ivermectin from a vet. I know that you can get ivermectin online, but the treatment is specific to your hedgehog's weight and condition um, and how severe the mites are. So you really need to consult a vet First, that's not something you can do yourself. And you only want topical treatments for uh, hedgehog mites. There are some vets that suggest injections. And unfortunately, hedgehogs have been known to overdose and pass away from those injections. So if your hedgehog does end up getting mites, please make sure that you see a vet that will give them a topical treatment and not a injection. So those are the top six most common illnesses and ailments in my opinion. Unfortunately there are some other illnesses and ailments that they uh, can get and that can be quite common but I figured I would mention the six that I see the most commonly in forums and on the page I run on Facebook. So if you guys have any questions about these illnesses or ailments feel free to uh, comment down below. This video, of course, is further... He's falling asleep in my hand. He's so done filming for the day. This video is just further 
proof that you really need a vet fund for owning an exotic animal, especially one that can be so prone to illnesses like they are. So like I said, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm going to go, I was going to give him a bath, but oh, he's so snoozy. Hi, did I wake you up? Hello. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's going back to sleep. Are you going back to sleep? Oh, just dove out of my hands. Oh my goodness. Okay, bye guys.